Good evening, fellow pupils of the paranormal. Welcome to Madame Lucy's Chamber of Fortunes. It's a rainy October night at the Loud House, a perfect night for one of my favorite activities. I will use these cards to tell the fortunes of each of my siblings. And remember, the cards don't lie. Cue the lightning. Cool. First up, Lincoln. The first card shows a boat. The second, a fish hook. And the third, danger. Hmm, it seems that Lincoln should avoid the water. I think I got something! Reel it in! That's our lunch! Well, the important thing is, we caught one. Edwin, whose fortune do you think we should read next? Luna it is. Card number one, a heart. Card number two, a guitar pick. Card number three, an envelope. Maybe music isn't the only love in Luna's life. Roses are red, McSwagger is sick. My token for you is my favorite pick. See you later, Sam. Okay, see ya. On to my oldest sibling, Lori. The first card shows a golf ball, the second, a bandage, and the third, my family. Looks like one of my siblings will not have a good time with Lori on the golf course. <laughs> We turn the cards to find whose fortune is next. Luann. We've got an octopus wearing scuba gear, a shovel, and a calendar marked April 1st. Looks like Luann has dastardly plans for the next April Fool's Day. Next year, I'm gonna give you all an April Fool's you'll never forget! <laughs> Let's see who the cards want next. Lola and Lana. Two fortunes for one. The first card shows various headwear, the second, salt and pepper shakers, and the third, candy. I'm sensing a clever plot that leads to something sweet. Trick or treat! Oh, aren't you too adorable? Trick or treat! So cute! Trick or treat! Great costumes! Thank you. And that is how it's done. One house, six pieces of candy. Okay, cards, whose fortune is next? Lenny, I'm seeing a senior citizen, a senior citizen, and a creepy mannequin head. This fortune is a mystery, but I'm predicting finely aged chaos. We're gonna need matching active wear. Got it. Let me see what we have in the back. Uh, help! I'm trapped in this hat! Uh, 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 Tanya, no! We can fix you! Uh, Missy, stop playing with that mannequin! I needed this wrapped yesterday! Coming! Uh, 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 don't forget my gift cards! I was here first! On my way! Uh, 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 I need you to measure my I've got a chilling feeling about that mannequin head. What's that? I'm getting word from an ancient spirit that I need to read Lily's fortune next. Let's see. A mysterious cloud, a nose, and a diaper. I'm sensing a smelly situation involving Lily's diaper. But we were just having fun. <laughs> Fecal incidents are not fun. Who's next? Ah, yes, the resident doubter, Lisa. Could these predictions be any more nonspecific? Let us reveal the cards. Vanzilla, an equation, and a music note. Could it be that Lisa has discovered the formula for musical magic? The only gases I smell are the noble kind. There's no better place for my scientific mind. Look, it's a chimp! I can observe how it swings. This lab is so amazing, it's making me sing. With so many test tubes, my tests won't go wrong. This lab is where I belong. And finally, my roommate, Lynn. 
I see a meatball sub, hot sauce, and another meatball sub. This one's obvious. Lynn will have two meatball subs with extra hot sauce. I predict a long bathroom line. My team did it! We're number one! <laughs> Time for number two. Dad, I think we're gonna need Big Bertha again! Now, I will read your fortune. A phone, a thumbs up, and black. My favorite color, hmm. I predict that you will return to Madame Lucy's Chamber of Fortunes in the future. But now, this session is over. Cue the lightning. Sigh. Cool. Nick, 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 Nick.